Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with the first week of February read, start from the 1st through the 7th of February 2023. This reading is going to be for the sign of Pisces. So Pis uh, Pisces, let's see um, what is going to come for you for the first week of February time. I will be adding Oracle cards and um, messages from your person in this reading, so stay tuned. And before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see what is coming in for my fishies for the first week of February time. We have our first card here, which is Three of Pentacles. I really feel like, you know, um, a lot of people are going to be telling you a lot of things. So make sure that you listen to all, but do what feels right. I really feel like, you know, there will be a lot of opinions coming for you, or uh, be that about your love life, be that about your work life, work choice, love choice. People will be talking a lot. Like, you know, they will be telling you probably you're doing right, probably they're gonna be telling you you're doing wrong. Listen to your intuition around it because uh, I feel like it's very important right now for you to know what feels right. You've got to do that. Um, it can be energy of your person as well for some of you. Probably, you know, it's high time that they choose what they feel is right rather than listening to the people in their life. So it can be that as well for some of you. But yeah, I really feel like it's very important um, to to you know be strong enough to go with your own um you know decision um try not to allow people to take action decisions for you in your life let's see more cards here for, for swords i really feel like you know there are people around you who are going to try and um, manipulating you in one way or the other so again take your time out if something like that happens don't make any hasty decisions um go with what you're intuitively being guided to go for this week i really feel like you know yes people will be trying to manipulate you so just be careful with that energy coming for you for this week time let's let's see more cards here uh listen to your heart listen to your soul the hangman and three of cups i would definitely recommend you know it's, it's it seems like you know if you if you make hasty decision you're going to regret it you're not going to be happy with it it's better to pause take some time off think through things and then take a decision that is going to make you happy but if you do something that they are telling you to do that is going to hurt you later on so make sure that you don't allow that you know situation to develop where you take some decision of your life based on them and their opinion i feel like you know because you are a very um, emotional sign you are somebody who's always like you know looking for something to do for others their happiness you, you are very concerned with that I feel like, you know, in this week time, you have to be concerned more about yourself because nobody else is kind of caring for you right now. You have to do that for yourself. You cannot do something to please others and not do something that, that, your, their heart, that your heart is asking you to go for. So this week, make sure that you are your top priority. You are the one who you are taking care of. Because this week, if you do by any chance listen to others, you are going to regret it and then you're going to feel the suffering which is going to pretty much last for long so try not to let that happen make sure that if something is like you know overwhelming you at that time when space where, where the, when there is conversation happening around it make sure that you take your time to breathe out make sure you uh, don't make a hasty decision and then follow what you are being intuitively guided to take action towards take that inspired action that's where you are going to find the happiness and the peace that you want that you desire underneath the deck we do have king of cups so for some of you probably like you know there is a love life decision that you are going to make in this week time um again it can be coming from your person maybe they are going to listen to their heart and then they are going to take action towards you but yes even if it is you trust me you got to take a time out don't take any hasty decision just yet because i really feel like you know if you do that you will be in trouble if you listen to your heart and then take action then take decision you will be happier than you can even imagine right now so i really see blessings coming your way but yes you have to make sure that you don't get your um 
self-overwhelmed with others' opinions and just go for what your heart is asking you to go for. Now, if it's a reverse energy, I really feel like, you know, yes, there is a, an offer coming from your person towards you. They are going to go for you. They are not going to let their family or friends interfere in their final decision towards you. I really feel like, you know, for those of you who are listening to their heart, yes, there is a blessing coming your way. It can be a love offer. It can be a commitment. It can be a marriage proposal. But yes, somebody has to take that lead where they don't take um you know uh the advice of others and just go with their heart and go with their soul i feel like you know yes there is a blessing coming your way that way uh, for those of you who are listening to their heart and following the guidance coming from within let's see some oracle guidance for you <clears throat> what is the oracle guidance for you for the first week of their time My faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. I feel like you know, it's very important right now for those of you who are having fearful thoughts, you have to make sure that you replace them with loving thoughts. Uh, make sure that you change things from within and you have the power to do that. So make sure the divine really wants you to listen to your inner soul and you have all the potential that it takes to to make things right make things in your favor no matter what the current circumstances are just listen to your heart and you will be guided towards the right path forward spending some time out in the nature especially at night time is going to benefit you a lot especially when you are about to make a major decision of your love life or your life otherwise as well so make sure that you listen to your heart even if it's a work-life situation that you are dealing with you have, that you have to make a you know decision about listen to your heart don't let people tell you what to do what not to do so that's very important right now for you to understand let's see some message coming from your person let's see what do they have to say to you what do they have to say to you messages from your person <clears throat> messages from your person i am finally realizing where i made a mistake so i feel like and for some of you probably um, they, they allowed people to interfere. They allowed people to make their decisions. That's where they are understanding and that's where they are going to understand and come towards you to offer you love, to offer you commitment, to make you happy the way they want to make you happy. So I really feel like, you know, somebody is having that realization where they made a mistake and they really want to make changes there to, to make their life get better in the, in, uh, in, in this, um, you know, uh, week time. Let's see some more oracle guidance here. Let's see what else do they wish to tell you here. <clears throat> what else is the oracle guidance? Sorry, I would I would be adding some more oracle guidance here. Secret admirer, someone has a deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Hmm. For some of you, there could be another person interested in you as well, probably other than the one that you are dealing with. That person might be um, telling you very secretively. So if you are single, completely single, I feel like you know, that admirer is going to open up about their feelings to you. Probably they have uh, been very reluctant to do so because uh, maybe they were, they were uh, you know, uh, talking about you with other people and they were kind of, kind of like, you know, maybe telling them not to express your, you know, their love to you yet. Uh, so if they, that has been happening, I feel like you know they will be getting the courage enough to take action towards you. So really see somebody expressing their love, regardless of what they were told to do earlier uh, by their friends and family. Um, let's see what um, color could be lucky or significant for you for this uh, week time. <clears throat> what color could be lucky or significant for you for this week time? Yan, build your confidence number 35. So it's time for my fishies to build their confidence. Do something that adds to your confidence. Do something, be that whatever, like, you know, whatever that makes you feel like is going to be an add-on to your confidence. Just go ahead and do that. Make sure that you're feeling good about yourself during this week time and uh, make sure you know that, you know, you are lovable, you are worthy, you are exceptionally good in all possible ways. And you are definitely a um, gift of God. So if you start looking at yourself with that perspective, with that new mindset, where you value yourself, you love yourself, you pamper yourself, 
you will definitely find somebody who's going to do exactly the same to you. So don't let people corrupt your mind with negative things, negative beliefs. Know what is right for you, listening to your heart. So that's pretty much it coming up on my fishies for this week time. If it was of help, do like, share and subscribe. If you are willing to purchase any of the services that I offer, be that loving affirmations for yourself or your relationship, scripting technique, um, any other like manifestation tool and technique, you can check the description box for that. Till I do the next read for you guys, take care, bye.